write a C++ program to find biggest of two numbers using functions. Well, we had written the same program without using functions and we had already seen how to use ternary operator. Now in this program, we will combine those two including the function concept and write a simple program to find biggest of two numbers using the same ternary operator. So let's see that. So as usual, the compilation, the execution of the program starts from main. So immediately we need to tell the compiler what type of functions we are using in this program. So we need to write the prototype of the function that is int the function name is big and it takes two arguments of integer type. Now ask the user to enter two numbers. Since big returns integer type value, look at the prototype we have written int big int a comma int b. So it returns a value of integer type. So we take an integer variable called res to store the returned value which contains biggest of two numbers. This is called prototype. This line is called function call. After the function call res will have biggest of the two numbers. So we'll display the value of res as the biggest. Now comes the function definition part which is very important where we actually write the logic. So follow the prototype int big int of x int y now we shall write the ternary operator inside the returns return. So if x is greater than y, which is written as x greater than y, question mark, return x or else y. That's it. This is called function definition by the way. Let's save it, compile and run the program. 10, 20, biggest is equal to 20. Let's give 20, 19 or some. Okay, it's working properly. Now see that this is prototype. It is like, it is like uh, mentioning the format of the function we are using inside this program. We can just simply give int comma int which specifies the format of the function so it works or you can give int x y or any variable name or you can leave it blank but you have to mandatory it is mandatory to mention the data type that is int you can leave that variable name that's it practice this simple program and we will look at the complex ones in the coming videos. Please share this video with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, like it on YouTube. Thanks for watching.